Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here. And in today's video, I want to discuss, um, do you need to have separate landing pages in Google Ads or with SEO? And so I actually got this idea from a, a question a client um, was asking me because we were starting a Google Ads campaign for him and he was saying, well, look, Mark, what, what I'm actually looking to get is I want to get more uh, more people that are going to trade shows. Um, you know, I'm looking for um, a very specific type of buyer. So um, I was thinking of creating some landing pages to target that particular type of buyer. And so the answer is actually different for Google Ads and for SEO. So. First off, let's discuss Google Ads, then I'll go into SEO. So again, the question is, do you need separate landing pages um, with Google Ads and SEO? So the answer for, for both is yes, you should be using separate landing pages, um, whether you're doing Google Ads or SEO. But you want more landing pages when you're doing SEO. With Google Ads, here is kind of what works. So Google Ads, The great thing about Google Ads is when you do a Google Ads campaign, you get really, really important data and it's actually the most important data there is uh, that you gather in the whole campaign. And so you always want to be able to keep this data. Um, and unfortunately, Google isn't showing as much of this data as they used to. They made a big change recently. And what I mean by this data is, so let's say your account has 20 or 30 different keywords. So how Google Ads works is somebody makes a search query, right? Someone is searching on Google, maybe from their phone, maybe from their tablet, maybe from their desktop, and they search, let's say, Limo Service Los Angeles, right? And then, um, and then they click on your ad. Well, inside of your Google Ads account, it's going to show if you have that keyword, let's say it's Los Angeles Limo Service, and someone searches Los Angeles Limo Service, when you go into your search terms, you're going to see uh, that that person searched that exact query and clicked on your ad. And if you have conversion tracking set up, which you always should have, um, then you're actually going to see what the person typed in before they actually um, gave you a call or fill out a form on your site. Now this is immensely valuable because over time you find okay, we are getting leads uh, and, and therefore sales from people that are searching these particular queries, right? And so the reason why you want a few separate landing pages with Google Ads, but you don't need hundreds is this. Um, there's, you know, tens, tri probably trillions by now of search queries uh, but most of them in, in most industries are very similar. So for instance, in the limo industry, uh, probably 80 to 90% of the searches uh, are things like limo service, car service, party bus rental, charter bus rental. Um, those are, those make up probably more like 90% of the searches. Most people do not identify what they are doing in their search. And what I mean by that is like birth limo for birthday party. Now I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it does. And there are people that search those things, but there's just not that many of them. Now if you're in a massive market, like let's say you cover all of the greater New York City area, then sure there's gonna be more, but there's still, it's nothing compared to the number of people that search things like just limo service, Queens, New York. Uh, so those are the most popular search queries. So just so you know, it's you know limo, car service, party bus rental, or we'll just say party bus, right? Um, and then you know if you do larger vehicles, charter bus is probably one of the most common search queries or bus charters. And so, um, what I found is you definitely want a different landing page for, um, for, for this one, this one, and this one, right? Because you have to think of the type of buyer. And these two 
can even use really the same landing page because many times when someone's looking for like a stretch limo or a party bus, they're, they're looking for it to, you know, do some sort of night out. Maybe they're doing a birthday celebration. Who knows? Maybe they're doing a, a, a wine tour. Um, you know, it could be for a wedding. And so, uh, but many times it's the same kind of type of buyer. They're going out to party. They're going out to have fun, right? Whereas with this one, many times it's going to be, you know, uh, business travelers, even, uh, you know, uh, retail type um, travelers that are just going on vacation, they might search something more like car service. And so um, you really want to match the landing page to the buyer type. And what I mean by that is a landing page that talks about stretch limos and party buses, it's got to have more of that, that party feel. You want to talk about, you know, okay, what are, uh, you know, what are the benefits of, you know, the vehicles you offer? Uh, you know, does, do your party buses have Wi-Fi? Do they have bathrooms? Um, you know, is there a good sound system? Things like that. Whereas with, you know, car service, business travelers, they don't care about that, right? Um, so we want to send them to a different page that's kind of more formal, um, that shows business travelers and, and that sort of thing, because that's going to convert them better. Meaning when they land on your page, getting them to take the next step. When they land on your website or landing page, you want them to take the next step and to feel, you know, comfortable um, and excited about working with your business. Now. The question then is, well, should I have a landing page for, you know, people that are doing birthdays or people that are doing weddings or people that are doing an anniversary? And with Google ads, I would say typically you don't, it's just not worth it. And here's why, because with Google ads, let's say your keyword is, let's say it's, you know, it's a, it's a phrase match type keyword. And let's say it's birthday limo service if you have that as your keyword it will very likely say low search volume and what that means is the keyword will not even work so it will not trigger the ad associated with that keyword so why is that important well if this keyword isn't getting triggered and that ad is getting shown, we can't send them to a landing page that's about like a birthday limo service, right? So there has to be enough people searching for a particular query to make having its own landing page even worth it. And here's what I've found. Um, you know, you typically want a, uh, you know, a landing page for, for limos and party buses. They can be the same page. Sometimes it's even better if you have one that's just for party buses and limo buses and maybe one that's just for stretch limos and that sort of thing. Um, you know, you want a landing page uh, for, you know, car service. Um, you know, corporate car service, executive car service, airport car service, things like that. Now, the one thing I will say is this, what you can create separate landing pages for is for locations. Okay, so let's say you're in New York, right? And you do stretch limos. Well, a lot of people are going to search Queens limo service, Manhattan limo service, Bronx limo service, and so forth. And so having a page for each of those locations that's, you know, targeting, uh, you know, limo service, that's going to make sense. But having a landing page for just weddings, for, uh, for any of these other uh, event types, it just doesn't make any sense because there's not enough people searching for those things to, um, you know, if this said wedding limo service, there's a very good chance that would say low search volume as well, right? And look, at the end of the day, if the landing page doesn't cost much, it might be worth it to have one. If you know weddings, let's say you're in Nashville um, and bachelorette parties and, and weddings are huge there, it might make sense there. But especially for other event types, anniversary, birthday, things like that, it just isn't worth it. So if you do create separate landing pages, what I recommend is just duplicate your main landing page, let's say it's about limos, 
and create other landing pages for sub cities that are around you. So for instance, let's say you operate in Orange County, right? That's where I am in Huntington Beach. Well, maybe we do a landing page that's Huntington Beach Limo Service, Newport Beach Limo Service, Laguna Beach Limo Service, Costa Mesa Limo Service. Uh, because people d are searching those things in a great enough, great enough quantity to uh, perhaps make it worth it, okay? So that's with Google Ads. Now SEO is actually much, much different. Now with SEO, you actually do want to have landing pages that might be, uh, you know, Huntington Beach birthday limo service, right? Orange County birthday limo service, Orange County birthday party bus rental. And the reason for that is, is with SEO, we want to go after the long tail. So if you've never heard that term before, a long tail search query is something like this. Um, let's see, uh, party bus for birthday in, can you see that? Oop, let's go to the next line here in, let's call it, uh, you know, Anaheim. I think I spelled that wrong. I think the I goes here. Anyways, so, so the search query is party bus for birthday party, uh, party bus for birthday in Anaheim, right? That's a very long search, but long search queries are, are more popular than they've ever been, right? And so um, if you have a page on your site that's uh, you know, just about birthday parties and uh, you know, even better, birthday party in Anaheim, birthday party in Huntington Beach, birthday party in Newport Beach, um, that page is going to rank. Um, and, and, it, and don't get me wrong, it's not gonna get very many searches a month, but the great thing is it's very low competition and your page will rank very high because it is the most relevant. If nobody else has a page that's about this, who's gonna rank number one? You are. And because you have a page that's that specific, when they land on that page, they're like, these guys specialize in doing party buses for birthday parties in Anaheim. You know, so not only are you gonna show up higher in the search results, but your page is going to convert better, right? Because it's so specialized. So for those of you out there who do, um, let's say you do, um, you know, a black car, and let's say you do Chicago, right? That's your market, you do O'Hare, Midway. Well, a, a long tail keyword might be, uh, let's say car service from, um, let's say O'Hare to Indianapolis. Right? That's a long tail search query, right? Because look, what's that? Six different words in that search query. So having a page that's just about this Again, much less competition because unless you have a competitor that is targeting, that has a page devoted to just this sort of search query, and it doesn't have to be just this search query the page is devoted to. It could say car and limo service from O'Hare to Indianapolis, and that's what the page is about. Um, if there isn't anyone else that has um, a page about that, you're gonna show up number one, and again, when someone lands on that page and they're like, wow, these guys specialize in, in doing uh, you know, car service from O'Hare to Indianapolis. They're probably you know, the best value because this is what they do. This is in their wheelhouse, okay? So with SEO, you want tons and tons of different pages. I mean, really the more the better, especially if your website ranks well, uh, because if your website ranks well and you create another 50 or 100 pages based on long tail, right? Meaning this, this would not be long tail if it was just car service, right? But that would also be extremely competitive. Um, so if you have a site that ranks well, the easiest way to get a ton more traffic, really targeted traffic, is creating tons and tons of pages. I mean, eventually, hopefully having hundreds of pages of content targeting 
long tail searches. And this is why SEO and Google Ads work so well together. Because the great thing is, you can take your search query data from Google Ads and you can find, okay, what are people actually searching for? And so, after running Google Ads for six months, you send that search query report you know, to your agency or whoever's doing your SEO, and you're like, look, out of, you know, based on this report, I think these are our most profitable runs. I want to do a page of content on all of these different uh, long tail searches. And the beautiful thing is, even if your website doesn't rank that well, if there's nobody else that has a page that targets that exact query, there's a very high chance you are going to show up very high in those search results. So anyways, guys, I, I hope you got something from this video. Um, long story short, with SEO, you want tons of pages based around long tail search queries. With Google Ads, you don't need as many landing pages, but the ones you do uh, should t typically be themed towards like limo and party bus would be one category, car service, corporate car service, executive car service, another category, and then maybe like motor co coaches and charter buses, you know, that, that they could have their own landing page. And then, and then wine tours is one other one I haven't mentioned yet. You definitely want uh, just a wine tour landing page that's just about wine tours. Uh, and then the only other thing you might want to add additional pages for is, let's say if in, you're in New York City and you do Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, okay, do a landing page that's Queens limo service. Do a landing page that's Bronx limo service and party bus rentals. You know, um, that's what you want to do because people actually do search for cities much more often than they search things like birthday limo or wedding limo service or things like that. So anyways, guys, I hope you got a lot of value from this. I really hope you can implement some of these things, uh, especially with SEO. If you're just starting out, think about long tail searches, super important. Uh, and really, if you're just starting out, you might want to just think about starting with Google Ads, getting some cash flow coming in, because if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know it takes a while for SEO to start working and start giving you a good return on your investment. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave me in the comments below. Um, are you using landing pages? And how is that working out for you? Uh, and also, if you could, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel. And I'll see you guys in next week's video.